Hi, I'm Sillian. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, I show you how to draw an easy step-by-step -step picture of baby feet. Enjoy! So here are first, we're starting with the toes and the ball of the feet. And the heel is also very round, comes to a point. Baby's feet are different than adult feet, a lot. They have much more fat and their toes are little bowy things. So here's the basic arrangement. I will just lighten that so it doesn't get the color doesn't get in the way. So here we'll put a very uh, dark pinkish purple color for the creases for the areas between the toes that are in the shadow. Now when, when doing adult feet, it has a sort of, uh, looks like a step, that's the way it's described very often, but baby's toes are just, looks sort of like a macaroni. So except for the big toe, which is just uh, also very round and doesn't have that much defined shape to it. It's like little stubby things. So I'm coloring it in with different shades of pink and I'm going in a circular manner so that I get a nice little highlight in the center of each circle where those where the balls of the feet are and the heel is and each toe. I have darker pink colors on the edges which are a little darker and I'm keeping the centers lighter pink. And I just keep going around and around on each area by itself until I get a nice <clears throat> smooth color throughout. And I used more of that dark pink purple color for the little creases and darker spots on the foot because people's feet have a sort of mottled look to it because of the different blood vessels and other things in there. So it's not like just one smooth color has little blotches of color that are darker later. So you see this baby's foot, some of the toes are squished together. Um, different babies have different kinds of feet and this was the photo that I have. So you see that this baby style foot has one of the toes sort of, uh, the middle toe actually a little longer and lower down than the other ones. And baby's heels, especially <clears throat> newborn babies, their heels are very, very narrow. And gradually as they get older, it sort of evens out more with the rest of the foot, but you see that it really comes to a, almost a triangular shape from the balls of the feet to the heel. It's very defined as a triangle. So we'll just keep putting on more bright pink colors one after the next because we want to get a nice dark pink color for the bottom of the foot. Palms and feet are, <coughs> are palms of hands and feet are generally bright color. So as we go in that circular manner, you see how the balls of the feet are somewhat defined since each, each little area has its own somewhat highlight that's left less colored. And the heel has as well, and so do the toes. And here's the leg, just showing how the foot moves from the leg. Uh, you see the creases over there because baby's feet are generally chubby, so they usually have creases on their legs. And now we're going to show the foot from the front position, that means showing the top of the foot and the toenails. So here you see that chubby leg and uh, the crease by the ankle. And here are the toes, one after the next, like little macaronis, and the big toe.
and will define those creases a lot because babies are usually quite chubby, their creases are very much defined and it doesn't look out of place, it just looks cute. So on like an, an adult picture, if you would define the creases too much, it would look strange. On a baby it doesn't, it's in place. So over there is a little shadowing from the side underneath the ankle. I will put some shadow between each toe and we'll emphasize the creases of the ankle and the toes again. And of course little baby toenails are quite small and their shape is not as defined as adults. Just sort of rounded on top, flat bottom. <clears throat> And since this is the top of the foot, the, light, the color stays much lighter. The bottom of the foot is much brighter, darker pink, but the top of the leg has a lighter color. So we just need to put on layers of lighter pinks, not as bright and dark as the bottom of the foot. So you see we put down the shadows in place, and we're just going over them with our pinks in a a soft easy kind of strokes. Here we can add a little bit darker pink for the edges of the toes since the toes the bottoms, bottoms of the toes belong to the bottom of the foot they have more of a pinkish darker pink look to them. And we can also use some darker pink to emphasize any other creases. I hope you're enjoying this video if you like it please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos about different body parts of adults and babies, all different positions. So here we'll, we'll add more color to the, the areas between the toes, make that a little darker, more emphasized. And we'll use that also for more shading. So you can see that we still have all those creases clearly defined. We are not just coloring over them to, to blend them in, we want to see them. So we'll keep emphasizing them as they get colored over and the, the color gets covered up. We'll just keep adding more color on top. You see that the light is striking off the inner part of the foot. 